The Fortnite Season 2 live event has begun in today's Fortnite update. Adding new Odyssey bonus quests, finding the missing pieces to the full Season 2 puzzle. I'll showcase the Avatar The Last Airbender event, granting free rewards, so be sure to watch this full video. Similar to the Dusty Divot community live event, all players will need to work together to break the Titan hand chains. Having a mass total of 50 billion HP to fully take down and release the Pandora box. I'm gifting free cosmetics in the item shop. 86% of you watching are not subscribed to my channel and be sure to like the video now to enter. Thanks everyone using code VFR. Your support is amazing. The full reveal of the season two battle pass has now been implemented alongside tons of new teasers you won't want to miss. Another season two battle pass teaser in order in which you can see we have the Zeus lightning bolt, the Cerberus heads, the Hades, and we also then have all of the different Greek mythology gods that are going to be implemented to Fortnite. And what's really interesting about this is if you guys take a closer look at the Pandora chest and which is going to be held on by the chains, these symbols are all connected with one another in the actual chest in the very middle of it. So that's really interesting. Seems as if once the Pandora chest is fully released and we destroy the chains, it will then be releasing all of the season two battle pass Greek mythology gods onto the Fortnite island for season two and preparation of it. Ares is coming to Fortnite for the season two battle pass in which you guys can see in one of the teaser images. Here is the official Epic Games survey skin of what he looks like. But here's a full image of four new teasers. So the season two battle pass teasers will consist of Zeus, Cerberus, and many others. There are two animations for the Titan hand, the emergence and also the chest box drop sequence. So once the hand fully comes out of the actual mound, these are the two different animations that we're going to be able to expect. The Odyssey bonus quests are available. Simply head over to Odyssey at Ruined Reels and be sure to talk to her first. Afterwards, you guys will need to complete three different steps in which at the very end, you will have to collect the catalog, which is going to be our very first teaser to the official puzzle for the Odyssey quests, in which are going to release every 24 hours to build up to obviously the season two live event. Tornadoes will finally return at the end of this week as the files have been decrypted related to the titan hand and the pandora's box have re-added data for tornadoes pretty much symbolizing many live events that are going to occur prior to season two beginning pretty much referencing back to all the greek mythology gods because there's some really weird effects that are inside the chess's tornado in which you can also see that he was trying to find different spirits that lie inside of this chest so it definitely looks like a lot of things will be released once we fully then activate this in-game event. In order of the official symbols, it seems as if Zeus may be our first tier battle pass outfit with Cerberus, Hades, and also Poseidon and tons of other Greek mythology gods. And here's an actual full image of all of the different outfits combined from the start to finish. So we probably will see Odyssey as the tier 100 battle pass skin. Charlie Wynn, the new director at Epic Games that pretty much replaced Donald Mustard, did indeed state that it is kicking into overdrive for the storyline. And he's an expert at mythology, which is why he's focused all attention on the season two storyline. So I definitely think this is gonna be one of the best seasons we've ever seen. He's also the person behind creating Kratos in 2005 and which you know is one of the rarest item shop cosmetics to never release back again and it looks as if he may be coming back to the item shop for the release of season two at some point in time. So that's a rare skin we can definitely be excited for. Fortnite again updated the floor is lava game mode a few days ago. In case you forgot the LTM is set to return soon with his name Midas presents floor is lava in which you guys know currently now the yacht on the map is fully dedicated to Midas's daughter being the Marigold skin and it seems as if Midas will be returning for the Greek mythology season and tons of teasers should lead into season two regards to him as well. The Titan hand has the same exact animation as the Midas hand had in the chapter two season two battle pass in which he was petting Meowsles at the table and which is interesting that Meowsles is pretty much coming as a new reformatted crew pack here for March so it's no coincidence that Epic Games has been teasing this 
all along. Finally, let's take a look at the Avatar The Last Airbender collaboration and all the free rewards attached to it. Fortnite X Avatar is coming to the game. We're going to be getting ourselves the Aang skin, the Appa glider, and the event is supposedly ending on May 3rd, which ties into a new Star Wars event we're also going to briefly touch on. This new mini battle pass event will be incorporated to the Season 2 update, in which most likely it's going to be integrated in the middle of April, considering the event is supposed to end on May 3rd. Now, what's interesting is we're supposed to collect all books by completing quests to get the Appa glider and instantly claim the Aang Fortnite style and Aang Lego style when obviously buying the premium pass, and which is very similar to the new TMNT collaboration, and which is just now ended today, and all of the different items have actually been vaulted from the Mythics and the Lair and many other things in Season 1 right now. Which Fortnite just deleted all of the traces of this new mini Battle Pass event, which pretty much now confirms it's coming to Fortnite and it was supposed to not be added to the API for this content update. So they're not only going to be adding a completely new mini Battle Pass event for the very start of Season 2, but we're on top of that going to be getting tons of free rewards you guys definitely won't want to miss out on. Also, Epic Games just deleted the Fortnite location on their official Twitter, which was at the very beginning of Fortnite OG, July 12th of 2018. And what's interesting about this is someone has just found on the actual umbrella for the win umbrella of Season OG, it actually does stay May 4th of 2024. And that is an actual start date of something to be happening. Now, the fact that we're obviously getting the Avatar The Last Airbender event and it ends on May 3rd, it pretty much does correlate to the fact that on May 4th, we're probably going to be getting some sort of mini live event as well related to Star Wars, in which we obviously did have at the very beginning of last year. So this is something we could definitely expect as well for that update. Within the next couple of days, the Mound of Rocks should be implemented to the map. And then at the very end of this season is where the hand is going to be correlated into the game. My assumption is that we're probably going to be getting the hand probably four to five days prior. So within the next few days, we should be getting this in game. Considering we have to kill 500 million XP off of the chains to then release the Pandora chest and then the tornadoes and everything will then be activated. We're very close to this be officially in the game itself. Here's a map concept of what the new map for Chapter 5 Season 2 could look like. And as you guys can see, there's a lot of cool locations and it's almost tied into the zero point as well. So if we could get some Greek mythology slash zero point season i really think this may be the best we've ever seen fortnite has officially released its very first two uefn maps for lego which is pretty much confirming that for season two we're going to be getting custom rocket racing maps and lego fortnite maps and these two maps are playable now and there's even new challenges and quests you guys can complete in game for lego fortnite now nothing really crazy came for rocket racing but if you guys are a fan of lego fortnite this is something really interesting i cannot wait to see what happens with this because this really can go anywhere considering the community itself can make these new maps. The Fortnite live event is going to be one of the best and today's content update has definitely proven that this new build up to season two is going to be like none we've ever seen prior. So be sure you guys are ready for it here on the channel. Make sure to comment down below your epic gamer tag so I can definitely gift you guys a new avatar mini battle pass and be sure you guys are subscribed. We'll be gifting the new season two battle passes, the mini battle pass, the item shop cosmetics and so much more. I'll catch you guys on the very next video drop a like subscribe and i'll see you guys here for the season two build up it's just getting better each and every day peace out you guys